Alright. Outdoor approved. <coughs> Eddie Bauer does not sponsor me. But I like this jacket. Not gonna lie, I would recommend it. So, you may be wondering, is this a baby talking to me? The answer is no. I just shaved last night and now I look like a baby. It's actually the first time I clean shaved in probably about three years. And I was kind of working the, the long stubble for a couple years. Sorry if there's a bunch of noise. I'm doing some dishes and laundry at the moment. I'm so domesticated. If you're not a subscriber, um, I would appreciate it if you did subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. All you have to do is click the subscribe button. Uh, you'll get email notifications for occasional videos unless you hit the bell button, um, which notifies you with every video. Uh, but here's the thing with the notifications. One, it's not gonna spam your account because I only make a video like at most once a week. And two, Gmail has this mechanism now that takes all of the YouTube notifications, at least my Gmail does, and I didn't set this up, so I'm assuming yours does too. But it takes all YouTube notifications or email notifications and shunts them into a social media tab of the Gmail. So it's not in your normal inbox. So it's not gonna crowd up your inbox. So this is the Bass Pro Shops Revolution Series bait casting reel. Here's the story. I got this reel for Christmas two years ago. I only used the reel probably about a 15 times, let's say, uh, 20 times. This past summer, what happened is the, the gears started slipping. So I'd be reeling in a bait and halfway into the retrieve, all of a sudden the gears would just slip and you know, I couldn't reel in the bait. Um, and then they'd grab again and I could reel back in. And it wasn't bad at first and it got progressively worse and worse to a point where um, I think the last time I, I casted it out, I actually caught a fish and as soon as I hooked into that fish, the gear slipped out and I you know, ended up losing the fish. So I was like, oh crap, gotta get this fixed. Either I gotta try fixing it myself, which is what I would usually do, or I gotta get it fixed. I don't know a ton about bait casters, so I was a little hesitant to do it myself. Also, this is a $100 reel, which in terms of fishing reels really isn't that expensive, but this is probably one of my more expensive reels, if not my most expensive reel. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna break down, send it into Bass Pro, and they're gonna do it right the first time, and they're gonna do it perfectly. Um, so I sent it in, they called me back about a week later uh, with an estimate, um, and the person I talked to said that this is what happened. Apparently, a piece of the frame of the reel broke off inside the cranking mechanism, essentially, um, and got caught up in one of the springs, which had then, it, it bent the spring to a point where the spring got caught in one of the gears, and that just totally messed up all the gears. So this person said that they had to replace the frame, the gears, and that particular spring that got all bent up, which I was like, crap, that sounds really expensive. This customer service representative told me that um, with service, um, parts, and shipping back to me, uh, the total would be $45. Which I had to think about because this is a $100 reel, which means I'm paying half the price to fix a reel that I've barely used. But honestly, the other options that the, the customer service representative gave me were like traded in for another a refurbished reel, um, basically like get a store credit, and I don't, I don't think it would have been that great of one, or a discount on a new reel, one of their Bass Pro reels. I guess the other option was fix it, um, but they could only fix it with um, salvaged parts from other reels, which I was a little confused about because after I was on the phone with her, I went to the site and they're still selling this model reel and I even called back and I was like, you know, like, why are you using, why can you only use um, salvaged parts to fix my reel? Because you're still selling the reel. And the, 
the person I was talking to didn't even know that they still sold that reel, which was just, I mean, it's just confusing. But I got it fixed because I sent it in fully intending on getting it fixed. And I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna get fixed. It should be good to go. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I think it was just a kind of a freak, freak occurrence, a defect. Um, if I had used that reel more and <clears throat> discovered that defect earlier, it would have been under the one year manufacturer's warranty. But because I didn't use it that much, I didn't discover this defect or, or have the reel break on me until a year and a half after I got the reel. And I didn't send it in until about two years after I got the reel. So note to self, use the gear you buy a lot right away to make sure that if it breaks, you can send it back in if you don't have some sort of extended warranty or um, you know extended insurance. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, I'm gonna bust into this and see how, I have not opened this yet, so I'm really curious to see how it, it looks, you know, if it's fixed, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so I'm using a steak knife. Open that. Okay, so apparently they sent the old reel to me or the broken parts to me. That's strange. I mean, I guess I kind of own them. So I guess that's, I guess I, I like that part of it. Let's see this. So this is the frame. This is really actually nice because now if something else breaks on this, I can salvage it from my own uh, old gear. <clears throat> I don't see anything broken. Oh yeah, that spring's shot. I don't know, this gear looks fine. Anyways, those two gears look fine. Gave me the magnetic drag back. You know, I might take these bearings, assuming these bearings are better than in um, my other bait caster that I use a lot. I might take these bearings and put them in that bait caster. <clears throat> so I'm assuming the new reels in here. doesn't sound perfectly smooth like maybe it did when it when I first got it I don't really remember how it sound sounded because I was like uh, two years ago okay I don't really like how it's kind of loose when I you know there's a tiny there's a little bit of give there um, so anyways it actually it looks in just as good condition as when I sent it in, really. Um, here's the thing. I think that the frame breaking, wherever it broke, because I can't really see where it broke, um, but I trust them. And the thing is, I think that was just a freak accident slash a defect in the product, um, which, I don't think Bass Pro reels are bad because of that. Um, and I got this fixed because I did like the reel. But given my experience with it and the whole customer service experience and the experience I've had with other reels, um, I ha haven't had any problems with any of my other bait casting reels. Um, I probably won't get another Bass Pro Shops reel. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't or that they're bad. It's just, I could go get an Abu Garcia, which I have the Silver Max, which is their probably lowest end bay casting reel. 
and I've been using that thing basically nonstop for the past two years. Nothing wrong with that. I haven't even maintained it yet, which I really should, and I probably will this winter. Um, but not a single problem with it. Um, I, I really like that reel, and that's like, um, I got it as part of the combo, um, and I think the combo was like 70 bucks. Um, so anyways, you know, it's back. It looks fixed, which is awesome because I was thinking about going out and using that this this weekend. That's all she wrote. That's all I got for you. These are the two keys to success and happiness in life, food-wise. That is dark chocolate cherry trail mix bars. Awesome granola bars. And two grape outshine bars you'll leave them out for about five minutes because they're really hard for straight out of the freezer and they get all juicy and it's like really cold grape juice